This is Optimal Living Daily, episode 1189, Five Steps to Letting Go of Expectations by Jennifer of simplyfiercely.com and I'm Justin Mollick, your very own personal narrator. Welcome to Optimal Living Daily, OLD for short, where I narrate the best blogs I can get permission from covering productivity, minimalism, personal development, all that fun stuff. And today's article comes from a new author for this show, Jennifer of simplyfiercely.com, a traveler, minimalist, and dream chaser. You can learn more about her and read more at simplyfiercely.com. And she actually has a free guide and workbook for mindful decluttering, how she decluttered her home and life step-by-step. That's at simplyfiercely.com slash decluttering. I'll give you that link at the end too. So for now, let's get right to our first post from her and start optimizing your life. Five Steps to Letting Go of Expectations by Jennifer of simplyfiercely.com. As a minimalist, I try hard to be intentional about what I include in my life, from my possessions to my relationships. But there's one thing I've always struggled to let go of, expectations. Picture this, you go to bed with a clear picture in your mind of how the next morning will play out. You'll wake up refreshed, have a nice cup of coffee, read or meditate, get to work early, have a productive morning. Sounds good, right? Yes. But then life happens. You sleep through your alarm, you're out of coffee, you miss the bus, and next thing you know, you're on the fast track to a bad day. I know we've all been there, and it's more than just a challenging morning. There's also the disappointment we feel when our reality doesn't match our expectations. I've struggled with this all my life, but it's at the front of my mind again because of the little one growing in my belly. I'm already realizing my body and my schedule are not my own anymore, and I know it won't be long until I really have to say goodbye to control and learn to roll with the punches. I'll be honest, there's going to be a learning curve. This is not a habit you unlearn overnight, but I'm getting there, slowly. If you struggle to let go of expectations as well, here are five steps that might help. Acknowledge the role of your expectations. First and foremost, my biggest challenge with letting go of expectations is often just owning up to the real problem. Instead of acknowledging that I'm disappointed, it's often easier to turn the blame elsewhere. For example, a few weeks ago, I was driving home from work and started thinking how nice it would be to have a date night with my hubby. Imagine going home, getting changed, and heading out for a nice dinner and some quality time together. But when I got home and checked my phone, I had a message from him letting me know that he was going to the pub for an after-work drink. Now, to be clear, he very rarely does this, and he's not a mind reader. There's no way he could have known I was dreaming of a date night. But my first instinct was to feel neglected and angry. Was he choosing his friends over me? Of course not. When I had a moment to calm down and think rationally, I realized my frustration had nothing to do with him and everything to do with my expectations. And when I acknowledged this, I felt my anger disappear and it was easier to move on. Change your perspective. When things don't go as planned, it's natural to feel negative and to focus on what we're missing out on. I'm not having a productive morning. I'm not on my date night. I'm not fill in expectation here. With this mindset, it's no surprise when we feel irritated or let down. But what if we choose to change our perspective? Sometimes it's as simple as the language we choose to use with ourselves. Instead of saying, I'm not, we could decide to say, I am, encouraging us to seek out gratitude and to look at our glass as half full. You might not be on a date night, but an empty house to yourself sounds like the perfect setting for a glass of wine and a good book or your self-care ritual of choice. Define what you really want. Next time things don't go exactly as you hoped, try asking yourself what you're really trying to achieve. Once you identify it, you can adjust course and look for a different way to achieve the same result. Going back to the date night example again, what I really wanted was quality time with my husband. Going out on a date was simply one way to achieve this. By defining this, it was easy to see another alternative. I could simply talk to him and let him know I wanted his attention when he came home. Rethink how you set goals. One of the best ways to let go of expectations is to look at how you frame them in the first place. One thing I've realized is too often I'm setting myself for disappointment before I even begin. Consider these two goals. I'm going to write a blog post tonight or I'm going to spend two hours writing tonight. The first goal sounds good, but let me be honest with you. My creativity isn't available on tap. Despite my best intentions, there are some nights when I write and write and write, but the words just don't flow. Inevitably, defining my goal by the end result will eventually lead to frustration. But the second goal is much more manageable. 
Of course, it's not guaranteed, life still happens, but by framing my expectations around the effort I'm going to put in instead of the results, I've got a better chance of accomplishing what I set out to achieve. Decide to choose your mood. This is one of my favorite sayings when I turn to in all sorts of situations, but it's particularly relevant here. We can never be in complete control of what happens to us. We can only control how we choose to respond to the situation. When things don't go as planned, we can choose to indulge in our disappointment or we can choose to let go and move forward. Ultimately, the choice is up to us. You just listened to the post titled Five Steps to Letting Go of Expectations by Jennifer of simplyfiercely.com. You can get your copy of Mindful Decluttering, a free guide and workbook where Jennifer shares step-by-step exactly how she decluttered her home and life. That's at simplyfiercely.com slash decluttering. If you haven't yet subscribed to this show, it is free. Most podcast apps are free too, so there's no reason not to. It plays a big role in keeping the show running. So hit that subscribe button for this show in any podcast app, and it would mean a lot. That'll do it for today. Hope you're having a great generic time of the day, wherever and whenever you're listening to this. I'll see you tomorrow, where your optimal life awaits.